clears his lines. Modric. Aidan Azar. Marcelo. Well, as we've already made note of, here is the scenario for the visitors tonight. Can they secure their place in the knockout stages, Lee? Well, yeah, and they need a point to go through, and sometimes that can be a dangerous position. Just go out and win the game. That'd be my message to the players. Modric. It needs an accurate cross. Hazard. Simple for the keeper. Well, Gareth Bale is a player who can make a positive difference in any game. What are you expecting from him today, Lee? Well, he's added goals to his wizardry. Will he get another goal today? A brace in his last match. Important interception. Casemiro. Benzema. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Insufficient accuracy with the head early. Yeah, he got there as well. It was all about could he get it on target, but when you see how far he missed, wow. Kors, Modric, Tony Kors, Modric, and that was a very fine read. Marcelo, now Casemiro, Kors, still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. It's an accurate pass from Kors. The end product just wasn't there. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Course. Bale. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. They've given it away. Benzema. That is how to apply the pressure. be on for them quick thinking to dispossess his opponents this is Gareth Bale now Casemiro giving the ball to the opposition that time Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? Azar. Benzema. Well, he made that. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. The referee has deemed that to be a bookable offence. Absolutely. Agree with that one. system working to perfection. Late, let's have another look. Well, I'm not a big lover of technology, but this is technology at its best. Wasn't sure at first, looking 
clearly see the hold of the ball over the line just so underway again with Real Madrid in front and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time Well, you always want to stack your ticket for the knockout stages as early as possible in the group phase. And if results stay as they... And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. And tremendous defensive intuition from Sergio Ramos. And considerable space afforded Real Madrid. Casemiro. Benzema. Intelligent threaded pass here. Will it happen for him here? Cavajal. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a goal for the visitors. 52 minutes, please. 1 0. Been there by Danny Cavajal. Smuggled away. Really active first half. Just and fed forwards. Fruitful looking attack. Chiellini keeps it out. Modric. Course. Another game to put on your calendar. Join us on EA TV for Liga Live. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Monaco. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be a... Benzema! Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for the home team. 65 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Hazard. Went in strongly, decisively. Substitution. For Real Madrid. James Rodriguez. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Another cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. And in the second half, the signs are positive. They can't relax, Lee, but they ought to be pleased. Real players have to focus on not making any mistakes in order to protect that slender lead. If a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it, there's little you can do about that. Again there by Danny Cavajal. Teammate in support. It has to be! Staunch rear guard action. Well, the Real Madrid fans are certainly having a big say in this game so far. Just listen to the noise they're making, urging their team forward. He's got to score! And good work to deny the chance.
PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Corner kick played over. And first class defending cleared off the line. Throw ins given. He's found a pocket of space. Crossing possibilities. An attack full of promise. That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. And important. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a. Excitement in the Parisian air. We're at the Pac de Pass here in the French capital. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Galatasaray. Thanks Derek, well with their place in the knockout stage it's already confirmed I'm sure they'll want to give the fans top spot in the group Doesn't always mean you'll get the favourable draw though Either way I can't wait for this one Derek
Saint-Germain starters. 4-3-3, but perhaps not as we usually know it. So a very narrow look about the forward line and the strong three in midfield. The width going forward will be provided by the full-backs who will need to be on the game today. Both offensively and defensively. I have to say, whenever I come here to the Parc des Princes, I'm reminded of 1981 and Alan Kennedy's dramatic winner for Liverpool in the European Cup final against Real Madrid. Yeah, full-backs union. You don't see him up in that area of the pitch very often, but what a goal that was. Created a brilliant atmosphere at the end of that game. Well, here's how it looks for Galatasaray fairly conventional 4-5-1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Teamwork might be the key. Well, that is how to run at defenders how to do it inside your own penalty area well the counter chance looks very real end product or not well visionary passing and the cross into the middle and possession lost intercepted and very deftly cut out delightful pass Pablo. well he couldn't quite keep the header down well it was the pace on the cross Sometimes with that much power on the cross, just cushion it, otherwise it goes over. Well, he has to be regarded always as a dangerous opponent, but what should we expect to see from him in this game, Lee? Well, he's a talented player, but he's got that one thing, the big P, what we all hate as defenders, pace. Soon as you've got that, you start looking behind you. Who's on the cover? Pablo. And played in towards Falcao. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good looking move. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Space and time for the cross. Can they put it away? And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Obviously, it's a tapping, Derek, but it's the patience in the box I like. The predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done.
And underway again here with PSG in front. We can go to Alan McAnally now for news of a goal at the Bernabeu. Alan. It's a goal for Real Madrid. It's been scored by Gareth Bale. Was it a cross or was it a shot? He'll claim it was a shot, but a looping ball into the box finds its way into the back of the net. 24 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. It did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner. And firing it into the area. That is when your goalkeeper is worth his weight in goal. Well, he's earned his wages, hasn't he? He was in position, he had his focus. What a save. The fist of the goalkeeper. Nzonzi. It's with Nui Andama here. Younes Belhenda. And it's with Falcao now. And the decision is one of offside here. Well, PSG have hardly seen the ball. But to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. Opportunity to deliver the cross, couldn't keep it. Nagatomo. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. Barbo. And the keeper exuding confidence. Yeah, doing his job. Right position, right time. Nagatomo. Nagatomo. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. It's time to play it over. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. Ryan Babel. Here's Belhenda. Babel. And it's with Falcao now. Babel. And back with Falcao. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Here's Belhenda. Nagatomo. Younes Belhenda. Well, coming up on EA TV, more action from Liga. It's Paris Saint Germain, and he takes on the shot. Can they slot it home? An abundance of space. What can he do from here? Options in the centre. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Oh, 
regained possession. On and on he goes. Teammates in the middle. A decisive clearance it was. They won't complain about having won the... The corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front now the delivery And it was turned out, so a throw-in will be next. Got to clear his lines. A deft clearance. Fruitful-looking attack. The goalkeepers have to be mindful that long shots like that can come in. Yeah, I always look at goalies and say, do your job, keep the ball out the net. Good job we didn't let that one in. This looks promising. Delivered into the area here. The shot wasn't really far enough away from the goalkeeper, was it? No, but he picked up the flight nice and early. And it's with Nzonzi now. Younes Belhenda. And it's with Falcao now. And there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. And the counter-attack came to nothing. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Schenner on the ball. Good-looking sequence. Savi. Keeper did his job to begin. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. An awful lot of green space to run into. Opportunity it is. Still possibilities. Extremely sloppy in possession. Firing it in. He's got the power lead, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there, and you're right, it's just gone past the post. Substitution time it is. Only five minutes left for play, and tension galore with the teams locked together. And the danger cleared. Nagatomo. Now Emre Akbaba. And Zonzi. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Emre Akbaba. And Zonzi. Oh, he fancies his chances. It's still alive. And now they have the ball back. Not much time to make up his mind. Well, PSG are expected to win this game. The crowd have got to urge him on to do so. And that will do it for tonight. This group stage meeting is over and the points have been shared. Wow, what a game, Derek. That could have been absolutely any score. Plenty of action at both ends. Both teams very positive. Really good football match. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, that was an important equal. In goal in a game with not that many chances, but he put that one away perfectly well. Delightful pass. 
Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Well, it was the pace on the cross. Sometimes with that much power on the cross, just cushion it otherwise. Space and time for the cross. Can they put it away? And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead, things have got to change. when your goalkeeper is worth his work.
the Paris Saint-Germain starters. We think 4-3-3, but maybe with a slight difference. Yeah, very narrow look about the team up front and narrow in midfield, so both fullbacks should be getting extra pay this week because a lot's going to be asked of them going forward and defensively. Well, Barcelona have often been the comeback kings in European competition, but they found themselves victims of a comeback at the hands of Liverpool in the semi-final last season. Well, 3-0 up from the first leg, the home leg, all they needed to do was score a goal and stop Liverpool scoring a couple. Liverpool got four. What a game. How did that happen, Derek? for that move but they couldn't make it count Sergio Roberto well we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch but what should we expect from him today Lee well four goals in his last three games is in superb form he's going to be really hard to stop the defenders need to be on their game think it's impossible Lee not to be moved when you're covering Barcelona in the UEFA Champions League as the club motto tells you mesh que un club more than just a football club well you feel that as soon as you come into the stadium don't you even if the team's not playing particularly well the fans let you know that they're here to support those famous Barcelona shirts and they do it week in week out Dembele towards Messi far post well-nigh impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of the game and the rumours have been confirmed he's elected to end his illustrious career at the end of this campaign a massive loss for the club league yeah it really is obviously he's going to be missed very much here he's a key player on the pitch and in the dressing room no doubt they'll be looking at the transfer window ahead to try and strengthen and fill that gap he's going to leave Well, there's been quite the focus on him coming into today's game. There are many who believe that this will be his final season, that he's on the verge of retiring, Lee. Well, it will be a huge gap to fill if the rumours are right. Retirement's just around the corner, you feel. He's been such a class act, and he's still a key member of this team. Excellent attack from PSG, but will there be an end product? In position to give them the lead, maybe. And the goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, it's the timing, Derek. The ball through, matched by the run. It's a lovely finish, fabulous goal. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Back in business, advantage, PSG. Dembele on the ball. Piquet. De Jong. Jordi Alba. A chance maybe from the wide position. Dembele. De Jong. Showing patience. Looking for the equaliser. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Now they've lost it. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Straight down the throat of the opposition. Suarez. 
Wonderful chance. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, goal behind Derek, and he's missed. It's a big miss. They've given it away. De Jong. Tempele. Well, just couldn't keep himself onside. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. PK. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes. second half in the first leg of this Champions League round of 16 tie Suarez Pique Jordi Alba Dembele Dembele just looking for the right moment for that final pass Sergio Busquets. Arthur has it. Now Busquets. De Jong. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Arthur. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Prepare to take on the shot. And good work to deny the chance. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Not really the ideal clearance. And punched away. And they've gone for the short corner. Artur. Busquets. Messi. This attack looks highly promising. Sergio Roberto. Now Busquets. A league that always seems to produce fine young players. League A, an action coming up on EA TV. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus Girondin de Bordeaux. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Look, if a fairly routine for any goalkeeper. Corner kick awarded. Can Barcelona profit from it? And it was blocked, that particular cross. Perfectly fair tackle, and it will be a corner. Over it comes. And a throw-in forthcoming. Busquets. Messi. Artur. Delightful pass. Still possibilities. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Artur has it. Sergio Busquets. Busquets. And with the goalkeeper. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. And it's a really good-looking Paris Saint-Germain attack. What will they do next? Not messing around with that clearance. Dembele. Jordi Alba. De Jong. Griezmann. Artur. Passing it with a bit of panache. Griezmann! And a goal for the Blaugrana.
Barcelona have scored. Well, it's like a huge wave coming at you time after time. Eventually, you will collapse. Even Steven. One apiece on this match. Chance to attack using wit. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Substitution it is for PSG. Will he play it in? It's so well to win it back there, Vidal. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Now Griezmann. This is Vidal. Lionel Messi. Sergio Roberto. Griezmann prepared to fire. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. PSG on the attack as the minutes tick away. What can they do in the closing phase? And there it is, the full-time whistle. You've got to say, not much to choose between... level should be a great game and now this Champions League round of 16 second leg is underway 
This is what we expect from the Blaugrana. Mark andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Piquet starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. 4-3-3, but perhaps not as we usually know it. So a very narrow look about the forward line and the strong three in midfield. The width going forward will be provided by the full-backs who will need to be on the game today both offensively and defensively. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? He's really hit form of late. Defenders are really going to have to watch him. Four goals in the last three matches. It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. And the reports have been confirmed. He will, in fact, end his career at the end of the season. No two ways about it, Lee. A big loss for the club. Well, absolutely. They've got to fill that gap. More to the point, what's he going to do next season? Probably sit back, reminisce about his glorious time here. A fabulous player, a real winner. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Well, many people have made this fellow the focus of attention ahead of today's match. If you believe the story's coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Well, Derek, if those rumours are true, it's going to be a big loss for this club. They've really come to love him here. His performances have been superb. To be fair, when you get... Luis Suarez with the pass here. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. Chance to attack using wit. He could pick out a teammate. Keeper did his job to begin with. On the ball, Luis Suarez. Sergio Roberto. Space here for Barcelona. Excellent ball over the top. Messi pulls it back. Can't miss, surely. Wonderful chance of progressing now. So the aggregate score currently stands at 2 1. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Suarez. Now can they counter clinically? Jordi Alba, De Jong. And the referee has given the advantage. And the tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action potentially. And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think you can think anything else after that challenge. Not all that convincing defensively. And Dembele couldn't keep the ball. Sustained pressure, and now they have the ball. Sergio Roberto, Messi, Artur, Dembele on the ball. Sergio Busquets. Well, uh, you've got to savour such moments. Alert defending. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. This attack looks highly promising. And space for the cross. Well, clattered away. Messi. Useful looking ball. Suarez. There's so many possibilities. Well, they would have been in a decent position there, but offside. Oh, what a wasted opportunity that is. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Might be a chance here. 
and the goal gaping at him. Still possibilities. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. So the Champions League, round of 16, second leg. The second half is underway. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Tempele. And overcame the ball from the flank, but dealt with in the end. Another game from Liga for you to enjoy with us live on EA TV. It's Paris Saint Germain facing Nice. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Though hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Lionel Messi in the middle. Well, he didn't catch it the way he intended on the volley. No, on volleys, you've got to keep your eye on the ball, and he just wavered a little bit. Not one he'd be looking back on very fondly. Ran it magnificently and intercepted. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Sergio Busquets. The one thing he does know how to do is shield the ball. Vidal, excellent passing. Sergio Roberto, teammates could potentially join in. Almost his second goal of this match, but the goalkeeper had his own views on that subject. Well, he'd be looking for a brace, the striker, not to be on that occasion. Running with the ball confidently. They want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Now Busquets, Lionel Messi. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Vidal. Now Messi, and Suarez is in there. An easy meet for the keeper, given that cross. Top towards Usman Dembele. Good ball movement and a decent position here for Barcelona. Crossing possibilities. Busquets. De Jong. Messi. Oh, a vital interception. On and on he goes. Sergio Roberto. Excellent vision. Suarez! Can they convert? And the post. Coming to the goalkeeper's aid. Now the delivery. Routine, really.
Going well. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Constant to the penalty area. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. And there goes the final whistle. These are words you've doubtless heard on plenty of occasions in the past.